Like I talked about before on my base, I had a lot of little air bubbles that were present, and that's because I did not vacuum mix the base. I just hand spatulated it, and so I had all these small air bubbles left. Um, so this video is gonna go through and show how to fill these air bubbles in in kind of a quick and efficient way. Um, you'll always be able to see little dots where those bubbles are after this process is done. So the cast will look better um, if you vacuum mix it. However, if you don't, if you don't fill these holes in, when you go to mount the cast, these will fill in with white stone, and then it will look really obvious that you have a lot of white dots on there. It makes it look much less um, professional. So we're going to fill in these little holes and gaps um, prior to mounting our cast. Just get a little bit of microstone. I'm not using the whole bag, um, so I'm just going to mix add water manually to a consistency that I like. Can I see what that looks like? And I like to wet the stone beforehand because if it's too dry it will, it will absorb all the water out of my the stone I'm putting on it and it won't adhere as well. Could run these underwater. I like to just dab with a little bit of with a cup with a wet paper towel to get the surface wet. And just with my finger, I'm going to go around and, and add stone to these areas. I'm going to I want to keep the stone just on the flat areas. I want to make sure that I'm not getting any stone on the teeth, on the gingival tissue, um, because it will be easier to remove all the excess stone afterward if I keep it just on the flat areas. Again, you do not want to add this to the section where the teeth or the gingival tissue are located. Um, it will make a, a mess and it will be very, very difficult to clean off. The, you only want to add like this to the flat areas that you trimmed at the model trimmer. Now once I've added stone, I get my, a little water on my finger and I'm going to go through and kind of smooth out. I'm not going to remove all of the stone. If I get too much water on it, I'll, I'll dissolve all the stone off. But I'm just going to smooth it out gently on the flat areas. Removing a little bit of the excess stone, which will make sanding it later a little bit easier. And be careful as I hold it that I don't get my fingers in my left hand to get stone on them and get the stone on the teeth. We'll repeat the same process with the other cast. There's a little bit of extra stone on the cast that when I get water on my finger and smooth it out, I'll remove some of that extra stone. I'm just going to let the stone, the cast set, 
Maybe for about 10 minutes or so. Make sure I clean out my bowl while the stone is still wet. Once, this, once it is set, it's kind of got a very, very rough surface finish. So in order to clean that off, because it's so thin, it'll be relatively easy to clean it off, just with a little bit of wet, dry sandpaper. They have at the dispensary this black, I think it's 200 grit, wet, dry sandpaper, which will leave a relatively smooth surface finish. And this is why I only want to add the stone to the flat areas, because when I sand it, I'm, though it's a very fine sandpaper, it's still going to be changing the surface just a little bit. I don't want to have to sand I don't want to sand the teeth or the, the areas of the cast that I'm trying to replicate on the patient. My goal is to remove any extra stone that's on the flat area outside of any of the voids. So when I'm finished I should see just nice little dots um, where the stone has filled in the voids. See how smooth that gets, and you can see some of those little dots that are a little lighter, and that's where the stone's filled in. We'll do the same thing with the other. Now right here, it looks like there may be a little bit of extra stone outside of the void itself. So I'm going to sand that a little more just to make sure I got all the extra stone cleaned off. And after I do that, it doesn't look that much different. So I think that it is just the, uh, the void that's filled there. So all the voids are filled now. You can see those little, little dots, little white dots, or lighter stone colored dots. But they are, I'm going to those nice and smooth, set them to the side, let them dry. 